So the Kenya Oil and Gas Association, just very quickly, is an association of all of the oil companies that have production sharing contracts with the government of Kenya. It's all of the companies that are involved in upstream exploration and development efforts in the Republic of Kenya. And so we have a coalition, and you can see the companies there, um, where we, we seek to raise awareness of the industry. Um, I like being brutally honest. I find that there are a lot of unskilled amateurs here who shout a lot and know nothing about the industry. And those are the people, unfortunately, who legislators listen to. And that is why we're in the shambles sometimes that we are in. Uh, because we find that, you know, I think the downstream has done a remarkable job. People like PIA in education and people are very aware about the issues in the downstream industry. I think the upstream being frontier, being new uh, in this region and in Kenya, um, we have a lot of education to do so that people understand we can manage expectations about this industry. Um, there's always this resource curse they talk about and they run and talk about case studies in Nigeria, etc. But we have a lot of education to do to make sure people understand the upstream industry, the upstream sector, the potential of its contribution to the economy of Kenya and East Africa in general, um, but also the things that we need to look out for. And what we need to do is to educate. We take some of these legislators, some of these local community people to places like Ghana, places like Oman. See how these guys are doing it. The guys who've gotten it right. And let's try and see if we can institute it that way. But for me, my job is I produce the, the, the barrels don't even belong to me. I just recover my cost oil and I get my profit oil. The rest goes to the government. Yeah? And by the way, I'm a contractor, which means any other contractor can take over. If the government decides Shell are doing a crappy job, they'll bring someone else in. Simple. The largest impediment to project success in the upstream is non-technical risk. Not technical. We know how to drill wells. Yeah? We do that. We know how to do process flow metering and all of that. Yeah? We are cognizant that we're in an industry that has the potential to kill a lot of people. And so safety is always our number one priority. Always. The biggest problem in terms of project failure, which means cost overruns, capex, which means cost delays, is non-technical risk. It is the communities that you operate in. If it can happen in Ghana, what stops it from happening in Nigeria or Kenya? Nothing. And so if we can sit here and make these decisions, it will be heard. In the corridors of power, there are people here who represent our voices. Let's begin to speak and not be afraid to ask for what is ours. Thank you. <laughs>